Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Winnie Reads where I talk about books and things and welcome to this weekend's reading vlog. Today is Saturday the 7th of November and I just got back from work. I've already put pajama pants on and I decided to film before I put pajama tops on because I have decided that this weekend I'm gonna spend it finishing books because I'm really enjoying the books that I'm reading but um, as you can see, I even, I'm even i even working weekends now, so I really haven't had a lot of time to read. But since I'm loving what I'm reading, I think I can finish it. Now, I am 75% into Katrina Lino's um, Horrid, and this is the book that I really wanted to read, and I'm, so far, I'm loving it. It is a little bit predictable, though. If you have read horror or are like knowledgeable in the genre, oh, there's my cat. <laughs> But that doesn't like upset me at all. I, I'm pretty sure I know the twist. I'm pretty sure I know what's coming. But I just really like the atmosphere in that book and it goes perfect with the like atmosphere. <laughs> Are you a parrot? It goes with the atmosphere that like we're having now here with um, Autumn in full force. So I'm reading that. I am all, I'm also reading, hang on, because I have it down here because I have my computer here. And I'm going to show you my Goodreads. So the whole reason I want to finish books is because I've started a bunch of books and I haven't been finishing them. And I never do that. Like I'm always like a finish one, start one book, finish that book, start one book, finish that book sort of person. So I'm going to show you what my Goodreads looks like at the moment. And it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Mm. Unlike this cat. You can't see that, can you? No. Anyway, I'll insert an image here. But I'm reading To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini, which I have not made progress on at all. I'm reading Good Morning Midnight by Lily Brooks Dalton, which I'm 10% in. I'm reading Robopocalypse, which is from Robopocalypse Book 1 by Daniel H. Wilson, which who is a Cherokee citizen. I'm sorry if that's not the correct denomination. That's what it says on the Wikipedia, and I'm sorry if I'm making. I'm trying. <laughs> and um, I'm reading Horrid by Katrina Lino, which is the book that I want to finish right now. And then I also started The Year of the Witching, and I'm 20 pages into that. And I've been. I was reading The Waking Gods or The Themis Files, book two. Uh, by Savon Nouvelle and that I am 20% in and I'm 100 pages into the house with the chicken legs since the summer so I'm 30% done with that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that book though I'm not sure I'm not sure so I want to read all of these these are like my goal for the month if you saw my reading uh, my like November not update my November TBR where I'm like I don't know what the fuck I'm reading well here's a list of what I'm reading right now and the things that I want to finish I want to finish all these books because having this on like my Goodreads list of currently reading is freaking me out so far I'm enjoying all of them really I think my favorite ones so far are Horrid and Robo Apocalypse The Year of the Witching The Year of the Witching is a little bit like YA <laughs> you know what I mean like it's not the YA that I like because Horrid is also YA but I'm loving Horrid so um yeah Good Morning Midnight is doing really well to sleep in a sea of stars I started that it was fine I'm not very much in I'm like I would say I'm like 5% in and it's like a really big book. It's a really chunker. Uh, with The Waking Gods, here's the thing with The Waking Gods. I I liked the first book and then I decided, you know, I bought the trilogy so I decided to finish them. But um, I don't know, there's something that is missing for me from these books. We'll see. And yeah, the only one here that, well, the only two here that might be DNFs is The House with the Chicken Legs and The Year of the Witching. Those are the only ones that I might not read. But that's what I want to read in November. But for this weekend, we are going to work on finishing Horrid and finishing Rural Apocalypse. If I can finish anything else, I'll let you know. But right now, I'm going to get into my pajama tops 
and which is basically just the hoodie and I'm gonna lay on this beautiful bed and read and my cat is just demanding attention like she just walks through the whole like setup that I have so I'm gonna go pay attention to my cat before she uh, knocks you over and I'm gonna read so welcome to the weekend reading vlog and I hope you enjoy good morning it's not morning I went to bed like at seven not seven <laughs> I went to bed like at 2 in the morning and I just woke up and it's currently 12 so there you go um, I did finish a book last night though I finished Horrid by Katrina Leno and um, it was horrible <laughs> it wasn't horrible I gave it 2.53 stars here's the thing um, I love open endings Open endings are one of my favorite things in books. I like it when you don't know what happened. But there is a difference between an open ending and loose ends and like things not making sense. <laughs> because in this book, I'm not going to spoil it, but the end is not an open ending. It's a loose end. It's like there is 200 pages missing of the book. You know, like, what happens after this? It's not up to interpretation, it's shit went down. What what did we do to fix it or something? Or, or I don't know, I just don't want to give anything away because I don't want, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to give anything away. But other than that, I mean, the writing was incredible. I had such high expectations for that book. I know that people hate to compare books, but I think this was like a less, like it started as a kind of all, like YA version of one of my favorite middle grade series, which is the Cassidy Blake series by Victoria Schwab. And then it just kind of let me down a lot <laughs> in the end. I think the end, I mean, it is foreshadowed. But there is something that happens in the end that doesn't become resolved and that it needs to be resolved because we have established we live in the real world and then there's something that happens in the end that has no consequences in the real world. So I gave it three stars. I gave it two, then I bumped it up to a three. Um, I mean, if I gave Mexican Gothic a 2, this would probably be a 3. Mexican Gothic was, like, shitty throughout, <laughs> and this was not. So, uh, yeah, I finished Horrid by Katrina Lino, and then I went down, I'm, like, I have been going down this MLM, well, anti-MLM rabbit hole on YouTube, and I love that kind of stuff. I love, like, cult stuff and stuff like that, so I haven't read anything else. <laughs> And my plan today is to get through most of Robopocalypse because I'm enjoying that book. But I have also uh, planned to get my life together because I have work tomorrow and I can't go to bed at 2 in the morning. So, there's that. Anyway, I will update you when I have anything to update you on. Hey, it's me again. I um, have very badly applied some <laughs> some concealer because I because I did my makeup for main channel like like not main channel but sit down videos, and when I took it off, it like made my dark circles like pop. <laughs> anyway, so far um, I've been reading a uh, Robopocalypse. Let's see, here you go. There you go, Robocopocalypse. And, well, I just want to, like, say this book is about, basically, there has been a war between robots and humans, like AI and humans. It's in a kind of distant future, you know, where we have self-driving cars and, like, uh, robots to help around the house. And just, it's a little bit, it's not based in today's society. And we win the war. It starts off with we win the war and um, this 
soldier finds a box where he finds basically records of everything that happened. And it's told kind of in World War Z by Max Brooks style where you get like perspectives from different part of parts of why am I wearing these from these different parts of the world where things were going on? And I just have to say, this is amazing. Like, it's so good. I tell myself, like, I'm just gonna listen to an hour and then I'm like two hours in or three hours in just like stuck there. It's really good. I particularly like what's going on in Japan. There's a character in Japan that is amazing. Like, he finds a way because what happens is this... AI is created and as AIs tend to do decide that humans it's not that he wants he doesn't say he doesn't he doesn't want to destroy humans but he wants to make sure humans know that they are not the num the apex predator anymore that AI can um, rule over them basically so he turns all of technology against humanity but he doesn't want to kill everyone. He just wants to start a war. That's it's it's really interesting. I'm I'm explaining it really fast because this is a vlog after all. And then you get like different perspectives from different things that happen and it's just so good. It's so good because I think um a lot of times when we read books like this not written by a BIPOC person, they forget like different parts of the world exist and it's just very um America based, you know, but this, um, I like how this has, um, we, we have in, in what happens with Native American reserves and how, and, and like, we get perspective from Native Americans, we get perspective from different parts of the world. I, like I said, my favorite one is the one, the man from Japan who finds a way to like hack into the system to bring back the AI from actually. Uh, fighting him or trying to kill him to helping him his story is just incredible I really really love it and like he's my favorite character every time we get his perspective on something or anything that happens the whole point is that he's like this um almost um hikamori person is it hikamori hikikomori, uh, hikikomori thank you Hikikomori, there we go, Hikikomori, where he's just like a very um, isolated man and he falls in love with a robot and she attacks him and he has the belief in his heart that she didn't mean to do it. And it's really, it's really beautiful, like I, I, it's told so beautifully. Um, one of the things that I had read one of the reviews that I had read before I started reading this book because I've been so let down by books recently was that um, once you read things like Ted Chiang that this doesn't seem that good I don't know I've read Ted Chiang and I think that this is really awesome um, it's really action-packed really fast-paced it's less about the like cerebral part of it more about the action side of it and I really love the action side of it I really I guess I needed like a fast-paced book and I I think AI turning on humans is one of my favorite tropes in science fiction but yeah definitely the Japanese uh, man storyline that's the one that's really like getting to me like all of them every time you introduce a new character and this book doesn't shy away from like any violence and stuff like that it's really cool so far really enjoying it I hope the ending doesn't like ruin it for me because <laughs> that would suck anyway I'm gonna go on this very messy bed I'm not showing you my bed right now because it's so messy and my cats have taken over. It's basically this book, but in cat form. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys later and I'll let you know if I finish the book. Hi guys. So I was gonna update you tomorrow because I finished Robopocalypse. And I, it's a fucking five out of five stars. I cried. I was like holding my breath, even though you know what happens from the beginning. Like I was having such a difficult time with this book. I was like, please, please don't. Oh my God. You get to love so many characters. And usually I don't like it when there are too many characters in a story. I find that like really um, distracting for me. But in this case, it worked really well. And it was so 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 good like i i can't even i'm gonna get this book in physical form because it's just that good and i'm definitely gonna read robogenesis i think it's gonna be really good because i you know I, I, 
at the end of this book something happens that is an open ending it's not an unresolved ending it's an open ending and i want to see how um daniel h wilson deals with that i loved the coming together of different races i love how this this <laughs> i i kept telling myself that i wasn't gonna say this but i have to i have to because man the, you know what it, it has a Independence Day, you know the mo movie with Robin Williams, like that world coming together but without the like America centralism that <laughs> that movie has. Um, it has that and it's so cool. I don't know if I'm in focus by the way, like I keep thinking that I'm in focus but <laughs> I don't know if I am. But yeah, I just wanted to gush about this book. I like seriously, there were parts there that I was like in tears and I was like, oh my god, what's going to happen? Like stop, you know? Um, there is a little bit of a romance in there, but I like how it's built. I like how it's formed. Like I, I like how it doesn't take center stage from the narrative. And just overall, A plus to this book. Fucking loved it. I'm so glad because if I read another disappointing book this month, I don't know what I was gonna do. So that's it. I will wrap everything up tomorrow when there's sunlight outside and yeah, thank you for coming with me to this weekend vlog. I'll see you tomorrow for the final thoughts and wrap up. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today is November, Monday the 9th, which means the weekend is over and I have to go to work in about half an hour. And yes, this is the face I'm taking to work. But anyway, I wanted to wrap up the books that I read this weekend and talk to you about like what's coming in the weeks. I said that I was going to read a sea, of, um, a sea of Stars, Drowning in a Sea of Stars. Here's the picture. It's by Christopher Paolini. Um, but I'm not going to do that this week because I found out that Tom Topple is happening. And I think I'm going to leave that book for Tom Topple, which is from the 14th, I believe, to the 27th of this month. And that way I can get that book out of the way. I did start Midnight, uh, Good Morning Midnight. So far, it's really, really good, but I, I started it last night. I only read, um, I'm 20% in. I was 10% in before I'm 20% in, I don't know. And so far, it's really good. So let's see, I read Horrid first, and I was loving it. I was so in love with that book until the very end. And like I said, the ending was just not satisfactory at all. It basically ends on a note where anything really, like there are so many loose ends, so many loose storylines, so many things that are just unanswered. And it's not like I said before, I'm sorry, I'm full of cat hair, but it's not like I said before, it's not an open ending, is a loose thread ending. Like nothing gets solved. And there is something that happens at the end of the book that again, I feel needs a resolution and it doesn't have a resolution. Then I finished uh, Robopocalypse and you guys saw me like I love that book. I absolutely adored everything about that book. It's such an action-packed book. I mean this is not like high concept, high literature, highbrow literature thing. It's a fun and it does give you emotions as a book. It's a very emotive book about the end of the world at the hands of robots. So those are the two books I read this week and I'm really proud of myself for finishing two books in two days, you know? And then well this week I'm gonna read Good Morning Midnight and then I'll see what else I read. And well I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's been a while since I vlogged on the weekend and I actually kind of enjoyed it. I'm having a hard time if you can't tell with my channel and my work. It's all been a little bit too much but I'll leave that for another update for now. I just want to say thank you for coming back to my channel. I don't know where I'm going to upload next, when I'm going to upload next, sorry. But I hope you'll be there for it. And well, I'll catch you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye.